Richard. Oh, hello. This is David and Becky Hazelton. Oh my gosh, how are you? What a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> oh, it's a delight meeting you too. I, thank you, I, thank you so much for helping to bring this work into being. You're my angels, <laughs> you're my heroes. <laughs> oh, Richard. Well, you, I'm sure Daniel, Dan has told you that we've known each other since, well, before I can remember. We yeah, at least the age of the, three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and so it's a privilege to be part, a small part of this process. Well, thank you for being, a, a, and it's a big part of this process. And because, you know, it's because I knew that there was more than a check involved, your heart was involved, mm. which is means so much more to me than anything. Oh. And, and um, that's, that's why I was mentioning to Dan that I really look forward to the day when I could actually meet you face to face and here we are. Um, as close so, as we can get right now. Anyway. As close as we can get right now. I just want to tell whoever is watching that uh, as you can tell, uh, David and I are uh, as literally as is humanly possible, lifelong friends. And I've known Becky for a great long time. Uh, and uh, David, uh, and I were talking, in fact, it was essentially uh, within three days of two years ago uh, that all of this transpired. I think on uh, September 17th of 2018, uh, I had a conversation with Richard about something else which turned into, what if you could find commission money to uh, have me write a piece for you? And uh, then two weeks later on what was uh, on that particular day, my birthday, uh, it was a Sunday afternoon, you and I were talking, as we often do around this time of year, and I was telling you, well, I'm, I'm looking at this possible project. I'm not quite, quite sure how it's going to happen, but it's kind of interesting anyway. And you stopped me and you said, wait a minute, Dan, can I ask you a couple of questions about this? Uh, and you actually asked me three questions. You asked me, one, what would this project do for you personally? And uh, I had some pretty ready answers for that. Uh, you asked me too, what would this do for you professionally? That was also easy. And then your third question was, what would this project do for the kingdom? And I answered you, I said something like, you know, David, I'd be kidding if I said that people are going to come down the aisles and accept Jesus because I play Richard's music. But I can tell you that it's going to have an impact that uh, Richard is a person of faith who is putting his neck out to write a piece like this. And he's uh, an example for other young Christian artists who might want to do similar things. And I can also assure you that uh, there is going to be a significant amount of uh, potentially very deep spiritual conversation in the next two years, which has more than been proven correct. Uh, and, and it's that's a beautiful thing that you're saying and and the you know one of the things that i i mentioned to dan as we were contemplating the creation of this work was i explained to him because i'm jewish and yet i believe and i'm also because i believe wholeheartedly in that that jesus is who he said he was <laughs> you know and i believe everything that you know that that um, he taught and said, um, you know, it, it scrambles a lot of people's codes, right? Because mm -hmm. they look at me and they say, "You're Jewish. You're supposed to believe in that." You know, how can you write a piece about Jesus in Hebrew when that's our language, right? Or how can you? And I, I'm, I've spent my half my life saying it's together. They're tied together. My family knew it that they were tied together amazingly enough because we had both we had both you know jewish and christian strands in my family right which is what made it easy for me to see that this was a continuation but you know it's very I, i've learned that without my trying to be i can be very effective because of the fact that i don't fit into any classification you understand right. what i'm saying they can't classify me thank god you know <laughs> Because when they say, are you Jewish? Yes. Are you Christian? Yes. Well, then what are you? You know, you can't be both. But if, if you look at, if you talk to Elaine Pagels, who studies 
who teaches the first 300 years of Christianity when most of the first Christians were Jews before the Council of Nicaea, which said you can either be Christian or you can be Jewish, but you can't be both, right? Before that time, most of the early Christians were Jews and they actually still practiced Passover. And, and they practiced Passover and they commemorated Easter, you see? which is pretty amazing when you think about it. So in that way, without my even realizing it, I've been useful um, <laughs> in, in the, if you know what I'm saying in this mm -hmm. way. And so, mm -hmm. and what's really remarkable about it is this 40 year friendship I have with this amazing guy, you know, um, has, allowed, has allowed me to hand over something that's deep, deep in my heart that he has actually brought into being in the most artful, most beautiful, most elegant way through his playing. Mm. Yeah. Well, it, it strikes me that this whole situation is a testimony to friendship. Daniel, Absolutely. our friendship. Absolutely. Richard, you're in Daniel's friendship. It's a testimony to the power of music that um, I am not a musical person as Daniel, Daniel, Daniel will tell you, growing up across the street from each other, um, I, we would listen to him practice his piano as we played football in his front yard. His, right. <laughs> and, and to see, though, how music brings people together and brings the Lord to people in a way that other, other things can't. And so I, 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 I'm privileged to be a small part of this. And um, Richard, I, I see your enthusiasm and the, the, the joy that's bubbling out in you, and it makes me happy. Um, you know, Thank that's you. what God does. It brings, he brings joy to our lives. Uh, hey, one, th one thing I need to do is acknowledge Becky in all of this. Uh, uh, Becky is David's wife. Uh, you've been together now for 40 years. 41. 41. 41. Oh my Congratulations. Goodness. And uh, both Becky uh, and her father, uh, Lyle Adams, are Wheaton graduates. Uh, Lyle, what, what year did your father graduate? I think it was 52. 52, and Becky in 77, and uh, both Becky and David have uh, been friends of Wheaton College in other ways besides this particular project, and uh, I'm just very thankful for them, and uh, uh, you know, David and I have the kind of friendship, we don't really talk that often, but it's, kind, it's the kind of friendship that when we do, it immediately goes down as deep as a friendship possibly can. And we talk in ways that uh, very few people and I ever, ever talk. I think Richard, you and I are getting to be like that these days. But, but um, so I, I just deeply appreciative. And, and as you said, David, this is among other things about friendship and it's, it's just incredibly moving to me and in fact, awe-inspiring that uh, my closest and oldest personal friend in the entire world outside of my family and uh, one of my closest uh, friends from the professional world, uh, people who never would have met otherwise, uh, joined together in, in this project. And uh, here we all are together on the, on the Zoom screen. Uh, who would have thought? But May I also just say that I think you two are a beautiful couple. They are. Well, you thank are, you. That's you are, very you, kind of you. You are, a, you are both a beautiful couple. I just see the light shining from your eyes. It's just so, that makes me happy yeah. just to see that. Thank you. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, really, really happy that uh, the two of you were able to log on. Thank and you. I'm glad that you were able to make the connection with Richard. My birthday. So wonderful to have met you both, even and, on and the screen. And yes. God's blessing on both of you and on the music that it would it would impact your life, your life, and the lives of so many others for God. So thank you for that privilege of partnering with you guys. Yes, we, are, yes. we, are so, we are so excited to be able to hear it the first time when, that, when we're able to do that.